A couple times a year, I just really like to take on very big projects and just do something crazy and just make something big pretty much. So if you like are familiar at least a little bit with bracelet book, you've probably seen those like cow patterns. Exhibit A, these specific cows that are all created by the user called Soda Pop. And they have like 75 different designs of cows. They're pretty popular and a lot of people make these cow patterns. So I decided I was going to make every single cow pattern. Asterisk. So that's what this video is. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to go ahead and sit down and make every single one of Soda Pop's cow patterns. I don't really know why I decided to do this, but I just had the idea and I was like, let's do it. So that's what we're doing today. This video is very long and also kind of repetitive, so I apologize, but what can you do? <laughs> so yeah, if you want to see me make every single cow pattern that Soda Pop has made, just go ahead and keep on watching this video. <laughs> All right, so I'm on bracelet book here and I definitely want to go ahead and pick out the patterns I'm going to be doing. And in order to find all of Soda Pop's patterns, I'm going to go to this added by user box and type in their name. And then I'm also going to type in cow because I'm assuming they probably tagged all these patterns with the tag of cow. And then I'm going to change it from the typed from all to alpha. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, perfect. Here they all are. I'm going to go ahead and count all of them to see how many they have. 28 patterns. Okay, I don't think I can make all 28 just because that is a lot and I definitely don't want to spend the next six months working on this video. So I'm probably going to go ahead and kind of condense it and maybe just not make a couple of the bracelets. That way we can save ourselves a little bit. I think I'll probably just do 20. I think 20 is a little more doable than 28. So I think I'm going to definitely do this one. I love the pride one. I'm going to do that. I like this Easter egg one. And I'm going to do both of these Christmas ones. I'm going to do the Valentine's one. I'll probably skip over these three. I love this like sprinkle donut cow. I just made this one. But while I was making it, there is a variant that's like a strawberry jam one which i think is really cute so i'm gonna do that one instead of the purple i actually love this zombie one i think that one is really cute and i think i'm also gonna do this like witch one um definitely the sunflowers definitely the pumpkin definitely the mushroom the avocado blueberry lemon i think i'm gonna skip this one and do the cupcake and then I think I'll do strawberry. This one is a little different because of the tail, but I'm gonna count it still and I'm gonna also do that one, I think. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, let me see. They can pick one more. So I think I'm gonna do this like cookie one with like the milk. Okay, so that is gonna be 20 patterns so i'm gonna go ahead and add all of these to my to-do list and just like that i have all of these patterns saved so i guess we're gonna go ahead and just get started i don't really know what order i'm gonna go in i think i might start from the bottom and then work my way up i think that might be the best this is gonna be a super long video so i'm gonna go ahead and just get started with this space cow i have all my colors here so let's get started All right, and here is the finished bracelet. I really love how this turned out. I did use sparkly thread for the background and I really love it. It's a little hard to see on camera, but I promise it's a little sparkly. Here's the back, it's kind of a mess, but I think it looks so cute. The next cow on our list is this cute pride cow. I really like the variation here, like the pastel version is so cute. All right, I have all of my colors picked out so we can go ahead and get started.
All right, here is the finished Pride cow bracelet. I absolutely love how this turned out. I love the colors. They're so pastel and so cute. And there's the back. I love this one so much. All right, the next pattern on our list is this gingerbread cow bracelet. I'm really excited for this one, even though it's July. I don't care. All right, and I have all my colors picked out, so we can go ahead and get started. And here is the finished bracelet. I am absolutely in love with this. I love the colors and I just love the design. The whole gingerbread is so cute. There was a little hiccup back here. I accidentally cut my thread uh, when I wasn't supposed to and I was scared that it was going to unravel. So I just kind of pulled it pretty tight. So I have this little tail and I'm going to just take some clear nail polish and put a little dollop on that to hopefully seal it so it doesn't unravel. So this one might have a little like rough spot just right here. I just don't want the thread to unravel and the knot to come undone. Hopefully that is good. Moving on to our second Christmas one. So this one is with some candy canes. All right, and I have all my colors picked out. I am using the same exact green as my gingerbread one, just so that way both of the Christmas ones are kind of like matching. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this one. And here is the finished bracelet. I literally love this one so much, so cute. This blue in the hat um, was supposed to be kind of like a really pale, like bluish gray as like a shadow. And it didn't quite translate that well, but honestly, I kind of like the blue. I think it's kind of nice. Look at my two cute matching Christmas cow bracelets. These are so adorable. And this is the next pattern we're going to make. So this is like the original pattern, like the pink sprinkle donut and coffee. But I really liked this blue variation with like the brown cow. It's like a chocolate donut and like the blue background. I thought that was kind of nice. So I'm going to do this one. And I have all my colors right here for this bracelet. There are also like some sprinkles like in the donut and stuff. And for those like specific colors, I'm going to be using some scrap thread because I have a ton. So I'm going to be picking through this just to use like for the sprinkles in the pattern. And here is the finished bracelet. I am so in love with this. I really like how it turned out and I love the cute colors and I just think it's really cute. And sorry, it's really blurry. Okay, there it goes. How cute, I love this one. And at this point we have made five bracelets. So we are a fourth of the way done with this video. All right, the next pattern I'm gonna be making is this like peanut butter and jelly cow. And I have all my colors picked out already. So let's just get straight into it. All right, here is the finished bracelet. I literally love this so much. I think it's so cute. I kind of wish I might have done a different color for the background, but I don't really have any like cute pinks that I could have used. So I kind of just went with white, but I think it's still really cute. Okay, the next pattern we're gonna make is this Halloween like zombie themed one. I think this one's really cute. I'm actually really excited to make this one. So I have all my colors picked and laid out already. And if I get any questions, this big ball of thread is the, oh, the little tag just fell through, sorry, is the DMC Petra thread in size five, if you are wondering. All 
All right, and here is the final zombie cow. I really, really love how this turned out. I think it's so cute. I think I'll probably end up cleaning up the back a little bit more than this because this is like annoying and weird, but I love it so much. It's so cute. Okay, so the next pattern um, on our list would have been this like witch cow bracelet, which I really like and I think it's really cute, but it is 16 like strings wide which i'm trying to make bracelets here and for a bracelet 16 strings is pretty wide most of these cow bracelets so far have been 12 which is what i like but a few of them have been 14. the one i just did was 14 and you can just see like it's kind of a thick bracelet i i don't know i prefer them to be more on the thin side so if this is already 14 and this one is 16 like 16 is kind of just pushing it so i decided that I am gonna remove this pattern from my lineup and I chose a different cow pattern to replace it. So I'm gonna be doing this like, what's it, St. Patrick's Day cow instead. So I'm gonna make this one instead. I'm gonna do it right now as well. So yeah, this is the next pattern we're gonna be doing. This like St. Patrick's Day four leaf clover rainbow cow. So I have all of my colors picked out right here and there are also a couple like rainbow colors and stuff like random little colors that I need. So for those I'm going to be using some more of my scrap thread. All right, and here is the finished like St. Patrick's Day cow. I really, really love how this one actually came out. Not a huge like St. Patrick's Day person, but I just really like this one. I love like the little rainbow. I even love the little pot of gold. That's so cute. And there's the back. So the next pattern on our list is this sunflower cow bracelet. I'm so excited for this one. I really love it. And like, look at all the variations. There's 38. That's insane. So I have all my colors picked out right here. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this bracelet. And here is the finished bracelet. I honestly think this one is probably my favorite one that I've done so far. I just love, love the colors and I just love like the vibes. I think it's literally just so cute. It's probably my favorite one I've done so far. All right, the next pattern on our list is this pumpkin cow. I am definitely excited for this one. Okay, I have all my colors picked out. I kind of went the more like muted tones route, so I hope it pays off. I am pretty pleased with the colors I chose, so hopefully it looks cute. So let's just go ahead and get into this bracelet. All right, and here is the final product. I really, really like how this one turned out. I love the colors I chose. The two shades of orange I chose for the pumpkin, though, are kind of hard to tell apart. It's a bit easier in person and in, like, specific lightings. But I still think that it's really cute, and I really, really like how this one turned out. And this pumpkin bracelet is going to actually mark the halfway point in this video. So we have made... 10 bracelets thus far are you kidding me it has taken me i think like almost four weeks now to make all of these and i'm only halfway done you guys on to bracelet number 11 which is this mushroom cow i've actually already made this one but we're doing it again okay and i'm excited because this one is like super super cute and i have all my colors picked out this one doesn't use quite as many which is nice so let's go ahead and get started Here is the finished bracelet. I am literally in love with this. I love the colors. 
I chose this like kind of corally pink color for the red and I just think it looks so good. I really, really like how this bracelet turned out. Moving on to, I think, bracelet number 12, we are gonna be making this avocado. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> So I have all my colors picked out right here. So let's go ahead and just get straight into this one. All right, and here is the finished avocado <laughs> bracelet. I kind of love that name. Um, but I really like how this turned out. I kind of wish I would have used a more pale yellow for the avocado. It's a little bright, but I still really like it. And I think this one is so cute. And I really like the shades of green that I chose. Moving on to bracelet number 13. We're making this blueberry cow. I'm really excited for this one. And this one is so cute. And I have all my colors laid out right here. Okay, so I'm realizing now that I did forget to record the time lapse. You know, it happens. Sometimes I just space. But you know what? This is number 13. And I feel like 12 is a pretty good streak to not forget to record a part. So I'm proud of myself for that. But it was bound to happen at some point. So did I forget a row? I think I... I think I messed up on this. Hold on. My god, I literally forgot a row. Dude, this is the curse bracelet, I think. Y'all see this? It's supposed to have a row of blue. So I literally forgot this row of blue. It went from the white and the blue straight to this row. But like, I did this part. Like, what? Oh my god, how did I mess up that bad? I've never done that before. That's so sad because I really like this bracelet and you can kind of, you can really tell too. It's definitely like there's two rows on this side and then only one row on this side next to the eye. Like you can totally tell. I'm so upset. Just move on, dude. Oh my God. I'm just, ugh. okay. Let's just move on. Okay. So the next bracelet we're going to be doing is this lemon cow. Okay. So I have all my colors picked out right here and this time we're not going to forget to do the time lapse. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, here is the final bracelet. I really like how this one turned out. The lemon part seems a little bit like kind of bumpy. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see on camera with the lighting, but it does look really cute in person. And I really like the pink background. It kind of makes it feel like it's like pink lemonade or something, which I just think is so cute. So I am really happy with how this one turned out. All right, you guys, so we are on the home stretch. I have one, two, three, four, five, six bracelets left. Plus, since starting to film this video, Soda Pop has made some more cow patterns. So we have these two. So we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna do these ones as well. So we have eight cow patterns left. I honestly feel like this video might be getting a bit repetitive at this point. I don't really know because I haven't edited it yet, but I feel like we've done like 13 or 14 time lapses. <laughs> like it's just getting a bit repetitive. So I think I'm gonna just kind of like speed run these last eight so we can get this video done. So let's go ahead and do the first three. So we have the cupcake, the strawberry, and then this cute like daisy floral cow. Let's do those lickety split. And here are the three bracelets. Also, please don't talk about my nails. If anyone knows how to remove acrylic, please let me know because I spent three hours trying to remove my acrylic and this is what they look like after three hours. Anyways, so here are our cows. So I have the strawberry one. I love this one. I tried to use like a more muted color palette and I really love how this one came out. I have this cupcake one. I did do a bit of a different color palette for this one. There was a variant where the cow was like two shades of brown and I really liked it for some reason. So I went ahead and went with it and I actually really like how this one turned out. It's quite different than 
like the original but I think it looks good and then finally the little daisy cow so I used this particular green for the background but I only had one bundle of that specific thread and the thread was from like Amazon like a pack from I got from Amazon and so I was like if I run out like I'm screwed but I was like, I'm gonna just go for it. And I literally had, this is how much string I had left um, after I just finished it. So definitely got lucky, but I'm happy that I had enough and I really like the color I chose and I really like how this one came out. I think it is also really cute. Adding these three to the pile. Here they all are. Dude, this is crazy. Not even done yet. We still have a few more to go. <laughs> Alright, so the next three on our list are the milk and cookies, the valentines, and then like the easter egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these ones kind of like quote unquote off camera or whatever. Alright, and here are those three bracelets. So the other like milk and cookies cow that I originally was gonna do, I didn't really have the right colors for it. Like I was looking through all my thread and stuff and I just didn't have the right shades of brown and stuff. So I decided just to do this one instead. It's like an Oreo milk and cookies. I still really like this one though. I think this one is super cute. And then I have the Valentine's cow, which I love. And then this Easter egg cow, which it has two eggs on either side, but I thought it would be too long. So I just did one and like, look at how much shorter it is. <laughs> so these bracelets are definitely all like super different lengths, but I really like how all of these turned out. And I have put all of my cow bracelets in this box. Look at how many I have. Look at all these bracelets. All right, we are on the home stretch. We just have these last two bracelets to complete. We have the watermelon and then like the back to school cow. I cannot wait to be done with this video. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do these last two really fast. You guys, I freaking did it. <laughs> Here are the last two bracelets. Here is the back to school cow. I didn't do the pencil because I thought it would be a little bit too long. So I didn't do the pencil, but I still think it looks really cute like this. And then here is the watermelon cow. This one is definitely one of my favorites. I just love this one. And these are the final two bracelets in this video. So that means we have completed making every cow <laughs> bracelets i started to film this video on july 3rd and it is august 18th so it's taken me about six weeks to do this and you know what i think six weeks for like 22 bracelets really isn't that bad and at the same time i was still like posting videos and making other bracelets and stuff so i really feel like it's not that bad so I'm pretty proud of myself for this. And these are all the bracelets. As you can see, I this is like such a proud moment for me. This is so nice. Look at all these bracelets. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, we're finally done. I just can't even express how like just relieved I am to be done. Obviously I wanted to make all these bracelets. That's why I did this video. But at a certain point I was like, I'm getting a little tired of having to make these cows over and over and over and over again. Here they are. Here they all are. I'm assuming you're all probably wondering if I will be selling these. The answer is yes. These will all be on my Etsy at the time that this video is uploaded. So if you want any of these cow bracelets, just go ahead and hop on over there. I will not be selling the blueberry cow because I did mess up. He looks so lopsided. Look, he's like missing an entire row. Oh my God, it's so bad. Anyway, so that one is not going to be listed because it's just messed up. But, And I am going to be dividing these into two separate listings i'm not going to do a listing for every individual bracelet because i literally like that would be my 13th reason kind of vibe you know like i just can't that's too no i'm sorry just no you know what i mean so i'm gonna put them into two separate listings i'm gonna do like i think food like food cows in one and then like the rest in the other so that is everything and i i don't know I kind of feel empty, but also relieved at the same time. Like, oh my God, I can actually make all those patterns I've been saving on my to-do list for the past month and a half, like finally. I also think no more cows for me for a while, 
probably like ever. I don't, I don't, I think I'm good. <laughs>